called the Twisted Diva. Okay, no inverting required. You don't even have to climb it up the pole, but you can if you want to. This one's gonna come from a jasmine, okay? So you should be comfortable with your jasmine and pretty secure with your grip on this one. But like I said, this is one that works great from the floor. You don't have to take it up super high, okay? So however you want to get into your jasmine, if you like to invert up into it, drop down into it, if you have another preferred way, we're just gonna start with very simple and much more easily accessible, okay? so into my jasmine here from my jasmine my bottom hand or the same hand as my bottom leg is going to reach up don't reach too high if i reach too high i'm going to start to lose my grip on that bottom leg but i also don't want it right at my knee so think like you know maybe a forearm's distance but it's going to vary person to person from there the bottom leg is going to come around okay and you can place your knee on the pole to give you a little bit more stability and grip if you want to. Sometimes that kind of helps to be able to grab the foot. Then from there, if you're feeling solid with this grip, opposite hand to leg, the now free hand is going to reach back and grab that bottom leg. Once you have a hold of that leg, kick that foot to the ground, head back, look towards the ceiling. And then when you're ready to come out, taking it back to your jasmine. Ta-da! Okay, so try it from the floor. It's gonna look different on different bodies, right? Because depending on flexibility, comfort, grip, if you're having a super slippery pole day, this one works on spin or static, okay? But starting nice and low like that is a nice way to kind of test it out and see how it feels. Um, if you are part of that uber flexi crowd and you wanna take it even more flexi on that, feel free to do so. But I do find on this, that part where I said you can kind of brace your shin, or not your shin, your quad, your knee on the pole, sometimes that helps with that foot grab because otherwise, sometimes we hook this. And if we're just right here, sometimes it's hard to grab. You can grab this way right here and then pull it back with your hand, or you can pull up, place that leg on the pole, and then lean back and grab it. Okay, so it's personal preference, whichever entry feels better on you, your body, your grip, all of those things. So have some fun with this one. Try it out. Makes a great one for a photo shoot. Okay, if this one's feeling comfortable for you, try putting it together with a couple of your other favorite moves. So I challenge you, if this feels good, see if you can combine it with two other pull moves to create a little mini combo with it. Let me know how it goes.